Hi YouTube and welcome to vlog number 26. Edward and Sarah. Sarah Tyndall. Sarah Badass Tyndall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's up with all them nails? Yep, that's, that's some badass Tyndall right there. Alright, without further ado. Today we are going to feed this big beauty. Right I'm gonna here. feed off my little that little <clears throat> mic, little yeah, she Mickey. Did. She just shed yesterday. I gave her a day, and she shit to um, relax. And now we're going to feed her. Look how dark her tail's getting. Absolutely amaze balls. Small update on the LP number one tarantula. Just shed. A little bit bigger than a American quarter of a dollar now. Awesome creature. Highly recommended by Edward Tyndall to anyone who wants to get into spiders. It even makes a good first to them, for, in my opinion. Um, for the male is little <clears throat> Nikki, and the other female is little Mo. Nikki and little Mo, the spiders. Nope. nope. Rats. rats. Oh yeah, she's trying to name the rats. Um, um, I always feed. I don't always feed my rattlesnakes alive, but I like to, to, um, not because it brings me pleasure to see something die, because it does not, but because, um, I just do. The venom, obviously, is set for that. Most of the time, I feed them frozen thawed. But even if I feed frozen thought, I raise these rats myself from nothing. From, let me see, we're sitting on two or three hundred rats right now. And they were all from about ten original rats. Two original rats, and then I added some more to it. But uh, they're all treated with love and respect their entire life. Yeah, Got the best, best housing, best temperature conditions, and everything they can possibly have. So if y'all don't like to see that kind of thing, you can stop watching now. We're also going to do updates on a couple more things going on here. I'm fixing to move everything out of this reptile room into the other reptile room here very shortly. Um, let me see. Look at this. The side of my hand. The side of this frog. This is Jabba the Hutt. He is absolutely humongous. You can touch him see when he's alive. Yep, that's Jabba. He is freaking, Jabba the Hutt. freaking humongous. Alright people, uh, the only courtesy I can give to my fans and the haters is to tell you, warning, live rats are fixing to be killed. Not because I'm a bad person, it's just because... I love these types of pets. These types of pets eat live rodents. And even if they eat frozen or pre-killed, a rat still dies. Just because you buy something pre-killed or frozen does not mean a life was not forfeited to create that frozen finished product. You feel me? I hope y'all feel me. Okay, and this beautiful girl, right. she might eat. One thing about her, I have put a rat in here with her, and she has not struck it for up to three days. Because if she do does not want to eat, she will not kill something that she will not eat. That is a lot better than most humans I know, because humans kill for the fun of it. I personally do not kill for the fun of it, because I respect all life. But this rattlesnake respects life as well. She will not kill anything unless she's going to eat it. Okay. Little Nikki! Here we go. Y'all watch. And you watch carefully. I'm going to try to get y'all the best uh, possible view. So y'all can see how fast acting the venom is. This is for educational purposes as well. Um, to educate you, this is a domestic rattlesnake. Not meaning that it's not venomous, because it is. But it was raised in captivity, and I have trained it to do 
specific task so I can do the task I need to do in order to keep her safe and me safe. I got this other rat here. There's one rat in there. I'm fixing to put this other rat in here. Get some action going. Even if she strikes one and does not strike the other. Here you go. Boom. Okay. She just hit that one immediately. And uh, that might have been a dry bite. I'm not sure. She just sensed it and struck because something stepped on her. Now, if she did not put a lethal dose in it, she will strike again to do so. <laughs> Rat's not acting like uh, like she put a venom. They don't always no, put venom every venom. time they bite. Huh? I think that's a dry bite. It could possibly be. If she gets interested in it, she'll hit it and kill it. Well, she's acting like it. Let's see. And she's got to be hungry. I mean, she took an epic shit. She shed. I usually feed her like this. Yeah, see? That's what happens when a rattlesnake bites. I'm glad she did a dry bite. Here she goes. I'm glad she did a dry bite because you can see there's a little, a little bitty blood spot there. And she that put one, a tiny bit of Yeah, them. just a tiny bit went into it. Um, you can see how that one back leg is kind of dragging a little bit. Let's see, she uh, she knows there's two in there, and she's smart. She she will cohab with them. This is interesting. She knows she'll know which one that she bit, and if she ends up biting the other one, don't worry, she will eat them both. They will not be wasted. And I haven't milked her, so she's had, she has plenty of venom to kill the two rats at hand. She's kind of deciding if she wants to eat them or not. If she ends up not putting a lethal dose in them, then they will be fed to the, something else. No, the longest that there's been a rat or mouse in her cage was a mouse that she had in her cage for over a month. That she did not want us to take. That was uh, that was when she was young, young. And she was off food, so I put live on her. I was feeding her frozen thawed, and she stopped, and went off food for a while. So we left a mouse in there for a month, with the food and water for the mouse and everything. She never did eat that mouse, did she? Yeah, eventually she did. Oh, she did. She cuddled with it. She loved on it. Oh yeah, I remember. She what you're talking about. had it in her cave where she cuddled with it. Well, it's not uncommon. I've lifted pieces of tin and board and debris in the woods and found rattlesnakes cuddled up beside wild rats. They cohab together for several reasons. The rats know that they re reproduce rapidly enough to keep their numbers high and that the rattlesnakes are not going to eat all of them. And they stay there because they know the rattlesnake's there for protection. Because not much is going to mess with the rattlesnake. So it's kind of like a, a, a respect thing, I guess. I mean, they respect the fact that the snake has to eat, so they live with it. And in order for protection, the snake is then the god, and the rats worship their god and give sacrifices and stuff. <laughs> That's kind of what it's like. Pretty much. I mean, Rattles has been in our care for over three years. Yep. She's, she's growing up. She's such a wonderful, wonderful animal. I'm going to breed her either this year or next year. She's been in our care for three years. No one has gotten bit by her. She has not tried any kind of aggression with nobody. Well, this species of rattlesnake is a pretty docile one, too. Um... You notice she's not rattling, but she is on the hunt and on the move. She's kind of wondering, and sometimes if she still has undigested rat in her, she'll start acting like this. 
I guess you did give that one a lethal dose. Very little. It don't take much. A little bit goes a long way. Kind of like uh, saf saffron that we used to eat. Yeah, a little bit of saffron goes a long way, and spices a little bit of a little bit of cane break when them goes a long way. Okay, there she goes. She got that one. She is going to eat them both. I'm not going to film the entire process because it's going to take so long. But little I will take some pictures. Off. Yeah. I would take some pictures, look at her resetting her jaw. That one, you can see she put a pretty good dose in that one. It, it is a shame that that one uh, has to take so long to die, but that was uh, not a well-targeted fight. This way. Fight. When rattlesnakes do strike mice and stuff, it's a way that they will instantly, when they eat it, all the blood and everything else starts digesting it eat faster <clears throat> oh yeah one other one other thing when they strike if you look oh, it's been this two rat, minutes for that yeah it's been longer than that it's like 11 10 9 8 7 yeah it's been about four minutes i guess if you can see the rats kind of calm and just laying there it rattlesnake venom kind of gives you a sense of euphoria as you're dying to make it where it's not such a aggravating painful experience it kind of just give uh, makes you want to give in to it you know what I mean makes if you're you a small relax rider. yeah it makes you relax but right before you die <coughs> and again this is not for pleasure it's a necessary thing I have to feed my animals. I created these rats. I brought them in this world. And I give them to my other pets to take them out. Or I massively knock them in the head and freeze them and then thaw them. She might put a little bit more venom in that if it's too alive for her. I've seen her do that before. I've seen her bite them while they're down. <laughs> that is so funny. Y'all let me know if y'all watched this far. What you think about Jabba the Hutt, how big he is. It's absolutely amazing. Um, Raja. Raja has not laid her eggs yet. And this one has not laid her eggs yet. Oh yeah, and to there the rat, hairless rat babies. The <clears throat> Ryan Luke's babies are Gus Gus and Giblets. <coughs> Speaking of eggs. I want to show y'all what's going on with these rat snake eggs here. This is the ones that our het Priscillus Everglades rat snake did. And as you can see here, I opened this up today. And look, this egg is split open. I don't know why. Um, turn it up, off. Yeah, turn it up a minute. I told y'all I would candle these in the update video. I don't know what's going on here. But, uh, yeah, you can see veins in that one. Um, you can see veins and a dark spot in that one. Veins growing in that one, you see. So these are alive. This one looks Mountain Dew color, but there's a spot right there, and I don't know what for. There might or might not be an egg in there. I mean, a snake in there. This one also has veins. But this one, I don't understand what has happened, why it would swell up and bust like that. I, uh... I just don't understand it. Y'all let me know what you think about that. You know, I'm still down here. Y'all let me know what you think about that. And there was some uh, yolk, I mean not yolk, but the white shit coming out of this one. And I just left it because I don't want, if it's pipping now, I don't even know how long I've had them in there. Oh yeah, dude. This is, this one right? Mm -hmm. No, them were my eggs because that was 4.30. That was the chicken eggs, but I never took it off of there. <clears throat> but yeah, we got a gecko egg in there. I have this on 83 and 81. Um, Pocotheria fasciata, getting big. If y'all want to see, um, if y'all want to see the rattlesnake eating in a little while, um, or pictures of it, I'll look at her periodically and let y'all know. Um, what you uh, with a uh, Facebook 
I'll take some pictures and put it up on Facebook of her eating or the lumps in her belly like I do sometimes. So I couldn't catch it all, but I'm already 15 minutes in and it takes forever for me to do this. I appreciate y'all's support and for watching my channel. I thank you very much. I wish everyone peace, love, happiness, and all that good shit. Did I say like, subscribe? Yeah, little Nikki's taking yeah, this last like and subscribe. Spot. Tell your friends. Yep. She's going to eat both of these. And then she's going to be humongous. And then she'll shit them out and then she'll Another. eat two more. And then she'll shit again. And her shit should be absolutely amazing. Um, we're out of here, right? Yep. Alright, peace people.